Hello and welcome to the house of Valentina. I'm Valentina and today I thought it'd be really fun to share with you what I've been up to in my bedroom because I have completely restyled up my bedroom and it's loaded with some really great styling hacks and I've just been having some fun. And so I thought I'd share with you what I've included in here. I've got a bunch of budget friendly great items in here and I just thought it'd be really fun to take you around and show you what I've been up to because as you guys know I work as a designer and we are always designing uh, rooms for our clients and we love to do our own house, but sometimes you don't need an entire makeover for your space. Sometimes just restyling it with a few little tips and tricks can completely transform what you've got. So I'm gonna share with you my paint colors, I'm gonna share with you everything that I've put in here, and also some tips and tricks along the way. So uh, cheers, let's jump into my uh, bedroom tour. All right, well, let's start over here, which is what I always wake up to in the morning. And over here, man, when I first did this room, one of the things I knew I had to change was the dresser. I, I wanted something that would not only last with lots of wear and tear, but something that would also last me a really long time and that I would not want to change it. And for someone who loves and thrives on change, that's a big thing to ask. But when I found this one at RH, I just absolutely fell in love. This is from, I think from their Beezer, Beezer collection and I just absolutely love it. It also comes in several colors and I have seen a couple other ones online that are similar. Sometimes this might not be the right size for you, but I'll leave a link for this one and something similar for you. Well, over here, this is one of my favorite areas. And at the moment I have the frame TV in the little black mode because the little light kind of messes up on the camera. But normally I have a screensaver up here because this is the frame, the art frame TV by Samsung. And I love it because I can just switch up the artwork. And for me, this is an area that I just use all the time and so I love the fact that I'm able to tuck my uh, boxing gloves in here. I love to do boxing and I've got some smaller weights in the cabinet and then I have bigger weights underneath the bed but I just really really use this space and it's a space that I look at a lot because not only do I look at it when I go to bed but also when I'm working out. So I've got the beautiful RH, uh, their little concrete planter up here. I love how it just adds a little bit of warmth and a little bit of texture into the space. I've also got Vanity Fair 100 Years and Tom Ford. Vanity Fair is great if you just want a book that's really pretty to look at. It's got a lot of fashion photography in it. In fact, let me show it to you. Oh, I've got the remote here. I can show you how you can also just have it there. Let's see, hopefully that'll come through. I'll show you how normally it does have the the artwork up there and I just downloaded I downloaded that off of Etsy so it's really quite cool to have so many different options but Vanity Fair is just a really fun book I love just all the images and there's a lot of historical articles in here and lots of uh, just fun editorials and it's just a really beautiful book but it's also big and substantial and so I just love having some bigger books in here. Then I also have the Tom Ford book and I always give the disclaimer that Tom Ford's book is first of all it's beautiful on the outside I love the cover I love the color and there's a lot of really glamorous beautiful images in here but if you are opposed to uh, nudity as far as art this isn't the book for you because there are definitely some pages that I wouldn't be able to show you on YouTube but um, yes it's a very it's very Tom Ford and if you know Tom Ford he's very edgy and he's just a really cool guy and I really like his editorials and so yeah I've got some books in here and I kept it pretty simple actually I just wanted to simplify I think it brings a lot of calm to simplify things and I think having a space to work out in for me I just needed that. Now my husband on the other hand, it's really fun because while I do boxing and weightlifting up here, my husband is actually downstairs using his ergata rower. So in fact, I might just take a little break and show you down in that little area. Do you guys want a little sneak peek of his little area? Okay, let's go. I'm excited because today's video sponsor is ergata and how uh, how perfect that you're here to show us how it's been going. Because I know. 
I've never seen you enthusiastic about working out like this. And it's I, amazing. I absolutely love this rower. Yeah, like I've tried so many different things over the years, but what I love about this is first of all, it's fun. So the whole thing is gamified. And so I can pick the different type of challenges I want to do and I can compete against the game itself. But then also sometimes I get to compete against other people, which is awesome. A lot of times when you're getting started on something new, it's so challenging that people don't keep up with it. But this, was amazing because it gave you everything you needed to get started slowly so you didn't feel so sore or worn out that you didn't or just, come back to yeah, it. Yeah, overwhelmed by it. Yeah. And that's what I love about the machine is sometimes I'm running a little late in the mornings and I may <laughs> have time. 10 minutes <laughs> or sometimes I have like 30 or 45 minutes and regardless of the time, there's like custom programs just for your time slot. You can literally put, I have eight minutes and it will give you an eight minute program. That's awesome. I also love the free row setting because you get to be on lakes all over the planet and you get this cool rowing sound and the water right with you. That's the best part. I went for my physical and the doctor said, well, someone's been working out. Yeah. I was like, can that be my ringtone? <laughs> and the nice thing is I can literally fold this up in about 15 to 30 seconds. And everyone can, like this morning we had movers in here and this was perfectly safe up against the wall. I love it. Yeah, it's awesome. It's a great too because Ergata has given us a discount code to share with you guys because I know that you guys, uh, some of you have already even shared with us that you've actually tested it out. They have a really great return policy too, but I've never, I don't know anyone that's returned it yet. No, and they have an incredible install. So they actually send a guy <laughs> out and he like, undoes it for you, he rolls it in, he fills it up with water for you, he walks you through exactly how to set it up and how to refill it and how everything about it, it is so easy. So click my link below to shop at Ergata Fitness using my exclusive code Valentina50 for $50 off. So um, I'm gonna go back up and finish showing them the, the bedroom tour. I know. And, and I I'm think, gonna let you work out. I think I'm actually gonna work out. <laughs> That's awesome, <laughs> I love it. All right. Now over here, I have kept the chair over here in the corner and that's a pretty big deal because I have somewhat rearranged the room. I have had this bay window in my room and it has caused me so much stress and it's just so difficult sometimes to work with the bay window. Do you put the chair in the bay because you feel like you have the space back there? And I'm trying a lot of different configurations in this space and this is without a doubt my favorite configuration for this room. I love having the velvet. I love the luxurious texture of this, but this has definitely been an area that's been in progress for me because I have the bay window right here and it's like just big enough that it feels like it needs something there, but it's not so big that anything really fits in there. And so I've tried probably at least 50 different configurations in this room and I've played a lot and it's helped me to realize that I don't like bay windows that are really really stuffed full of furniture. I like having the little sculptures in the bay and putting the chair in the corner is just like oh finally it feels right. Now I did like having the tree back here but the fig tree just doesn't get enough sun. This room really never gets direct sun in it so it's a little bit darker which is why I went so dark on the walls because it's already dark and I like having a moody, dark room. And it's almost like taking on like a cinema kind of feel where it's really dark and smoky and I absolutely love it. This is Locust Black by Bear Paint, which I have no idea why they called it that, but the color itself is actually really, really beautiful. It's like a smoky off black and I love this color. I'll link the colors and all the items that I'm talking about today down below in the show notes. But yes, it's, it's smoky and dark and I love it. And I love the contrast of the white velvet against the dark walls. And yeah, I just, I've loved having this chair here. I love the fact that it swivels so we can look out the window. We can be chatting in here. Um, I'll sit down a lot in here and maybe get on Instagram a lot of times. And if you watch my reels, I probably am sitting in this chair editing my reels. <laughs> I, it's just a little bit of an escape for me, which is especially important because all the kids have been home for summer and we know why they were home a lot last year and the year before. So I really wanted my space to feel like a little bit of an oasis and it really has turned out to be that. 
I've also got the little lamp that I got from RH, but they've really got a beautiful one on Amazon if you like that look. And uh, then up above, I actually got these picture frames at Target. It was such a great deal, and I own a bunch of them, and I think that a little bit of repeating pattern just feels really nice and structured. And so I know before I had art kind of askew and everyone's like could you please center that up and you know that's what i love is that i like being able to play around and try lots of different things and um for now it's i i like the calm that comes from having some things repeating and some things being orderly it, it does have the artwork that came with it and so I'm gonna be painting something for those little slots I said that about the bathroom like six months ago and I haven't gotten to it yet but it's because the the thing that came the picture that came with it looks so good that I keep forgetting that I need to change it but I really do want to change those out and maybe put some um, abstracts in there so stay tuned I'll share that with you guys when I do that I've also got the little table down here this is the one that looks just like the one I have from RH. It looks like real wood, but it's actually made of a light concrete material. I did notice when I went to look and see if it was still in stock that they also have it in a gray color. Oh man, I want it so bad. Um, and then they also have it in a wood color. And so I just think that it's really beautiful. It's not so heavy because it's a lightweight concrete, but the, sh the shape and the structure and the texture on it is just stunning. things that I have done in here is a pretty big deal and that's changing out the rug. I changed out the rug because I just wanted to do something that was a little bit more subtle and a little bit calmer and I've always wanted one of these Berber rugs. I have had the bedding at times on my bed that we got while we lived in Morocco and I've always loved these rugs and when I saw this one it was I was actually shopping for a client. <laughs> <laughs> Just being totally honest, I was shopping for a client and when I when it came in, I was like, I got to have this for myself. So I, I just couldn't send it back. I loved it so much that I decided to try it out in here and I am in love. This is from Safavia, which you can find on Amazon and I'll leave you a link. You guys always ask me, what about the curtains, Valentina? These are from Ikea actually and I was supposed to have doubled those a while ago and I haven't done it yet. <laughs> it's one of those things if I clean up and I put a project away, then I forget about it. Yeah, anybody else do that? So on the list is still, I need to put the second pair up because I want to double these. And um, yes, I'm gonna make sure I actually do that. But one of the things that I did find is this amazing curtain rod pole, which I found on Amazon, which ended up being the perfect solution for my bay window. I had been looking literally for years for something that would work up here. And I was getting ready to spend a few thousand dollars having a custom one made for me. And then I found one on Amazon and it's super affordable. And it's nice because it really adjusts to any shape. And it's a great curtain rod. Even they have other ones. If you don't have a bay window, they have the same curtain rod available in just regular sizes. So I'm gonna link it up for you guys. It really is great. And I am so relieved that finally the curtains just look a little bit more pristine in here because before the, the little um, the rods just literally overlapped it was really ugly and if you pulled them the wrong way they'd fall down it was a disaster and now they just work over on this side is my side of the bed and I've got the beautiful olive tree which I found on Amazon and I love this planter I actually found this one at home goods but uh, Crate and Barrel sells one that's really really similar and it looks like concrete but it just gives a lot of texture because I have so much black and white in here and I really like to have things fairly minimal I like to add that that texture into a space in fact we talked about that recently in our video about minimal luxury so if you're interested in more about the style and how I go about thinking about what I'm going to actually put into the room check out that video I'll leave a link down below I also have these gorgeous side tables which I absolutely love again I found them on Amazon I liked that it had a little spot here where I could put some books. Tom Ford's 002 uh, is a play on James Bond, which is my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> I just absolutely love James Bond. So I just love the book. It's like the other one. It's a little bit brisque. If you are, yeah, I, I, I see uh, nude photography as art, but 
I know not everybody does. So I try to get that disclaimer so you won't feel upset if you decide to order it. But it is nice because it's nice and big. It adds something down here to really weight this area without having to have a lot of stuff. And then of course the studs on the front are just amazing. I love that. And these have a little push. And I just, it's great because I can have, I always put, you know, lotion on my feet at night and I've got all that stuff kind of put away and I don't have to look at all of it. So it's perfect to have storage to put away and then, you know, a little area to display. Then I've got the Zentique vase, which I just absolutely love. I have so many of these. I have the nice big tall one as well. And then this one, at the moment I don't have anything in it because I've got the greenery sitting right here, but at times I put greenery in it. I've moved it all around the house and it's just a gorgeous piece. And it really has just so much texture to it. It's, it's stunning. And then up here, I've got the marble uh, sconces from CB2 and I love them because they've got the beautiful veining of the mark, like all that natural marble and oh, they're just breathtaking. So I just really love them. This bed is from West Elm and it's one of my favorite purchases. I just like how that creamy white color just plays off of the wall color. I've got a piece up here that I just painted myself. It's literally just some spackling and some paint and I'm hoping to get that one framed soon. It's the one thing, that and the curtains. I've got a couple little things left to do in here. I've got the gorgeous sheets in here from Bowl and Branch. You know what, I had a little bit of fun restyling up the bed and putting some of these layers underneath. It's just kind of a fun way of, of just playing around with the different stuff that you might already have. So I've got lots of layers here, but it really feels very simple and pared back. And so the trick is to put some of those layers underneath the duvet and to kind of hide them away a little bit. So this linen one is from RH, but I actually normally have the one from Amazon on the bed. So I'll link up both for you because both are really lovely and the quality is about the same. I have to be honest, this one's probably just a tad bit softer, but that's because I've owned it for so many years and the more you wash linen, the softer it's gonna get. So I think the other one's gonna end up being just as soft with a little bit more time. But yeah, I've got that beautiful quilt that I got from Amazon. I've got the boucle. I've got these beautiful boucle pillows, which I got from CB2. And then I've also got these from H&M Home. And I just love how they've got that sort of design on them and the little trim. And I've also got the coverlet on here. Those do keep selling out, but I will link everything up for you. Over in this section, I've made a pretty big change. And I took out the big cabinet. It just felt like just too much furniture in here for me. And even though I absolutely love that cabinet and it is not gone, it's just been re relocated downstairs for the moment until we can figure out where to put it. It was something that we'd brought back from Europe with us and I was super attached to it. It just felt like you really couldn't move around this side of the room. So instead we took the cabinet out and all the stuff that was in it and just cleared the room and I put this piece of artwork back up. This is actually a painting that I bought at Home Goods, and I hate that I can't figure out where I filmed the before, but it was just one of those typical pieces of artwork that you find at Home Goods, and I just added a couple coats of paint to it, and it looks, I think it looks amazing. I think it looks really high end. I, I think maybe I'd like to get the art lights for the tops of these pictures as well. So I've got a couple little things to keep going. You guys probably know me well enough if you're a subscriber that uh, I like to change things a lot. So I kind of want to let things sit and simmer a little bit to see is this a long term thing before I start putting lights up and everything. But I, this is probably my favorite iteration of this room so far. I'm in heaven. I'm in absolute heaven. And a lot of this is part of learning about yourself. That's that's really what this channel is really all about is that self-discovery and I feel like I'm just growing right here with you and my personal style is always growing and developing and I'm always testing things out and seeing how I like them and then learning from that. And I I love that. I want this to be a place where we are allowed to grow and to change. Got this gorgeous base actually which one of my 
uh, clients, now friends, uh, gave me when we closed on his house, uh, Dr. Ferris, you guys might remember when we made over his kitchen. And um, yeah, so he gave us that beautiful vase and it looks gorgeous in here with just some greenery. It's just some greenery from uh, the grocery store. It's nothing fancy. And then, oh my goodness, if you want something that's just wow this candle is by diptyque and it's the maquise and i am it is incredible it's a mediterranean scent it's very woody these are handmade in france and the diptyque candles they are more expensive and this one's totally worth it it really reminds me of being along the mediterranean in that sort of woody floral kind of smell that that area has and i love this candle i just absolutely adore it if you guys watched our friday with v then you saw that we just bought these candles and it is a huge score i also at the same time uh bought the dress <laughs> while we were down there and i just couldn't walk away when it had that beautiful little bow in the back and uh i was really naughty that day honestly i don't know what i was thinking i was shopping for furniture and bought myself a pair of earrings a dress and a candle <laughs> I'm telling you, <laughs> but we had a lot of fun and it's nice to have a little souvenir of our little visit down to our H and Jack's and my just day out. And the last thing I have is this really cool bust and he did stay in this room. I just think that it's just, it's just beautiful. And I love this sort of sculpture. I love this sort of feeling of art and sculpture and it feels more like a gallery than just a bedroom. And I, I really like this sort of feeling. These little babies, when I rearranged the living room, I had these that I had gotten from Target, these really cute little Ottomans. And when I had restyled up the living room, they didn't have a home. And so I thought they were perfect to go right beneath the art print. So I love the fact that I get to share these spaces with you and I get to show you my own personal journey. I think that sometimes we we forget that even as designers, we were always learning and growing and what we like today may not be the same thing as what we like five years from now. And, and these little tiny things that we can do to our space can really transform the way that it feels. And so I just, um, if you're looking at, if you're looking around your spaces and you don't feel like you've quite nailed it, I would recommend taking pictures of your space and comparing it to the pictures that maybe you really like. If you're looking for pictures of our own spaces, you can actually go to our website. It's just houseofvalentita.com and we always upload the photos from the room so you can see the space. And that way, if you wanna add them to your Pinterest or if you're wanting to really compare and contrast your own spaces, you can use our rooms as a resource. And of course, I love it when I can give you a little PDF. So I'm gonna add all that into a PDF for you. I'll give you the links for the items in the space and that way you can just click on the links and shop and the, the PDF's always free. I just love to be able to give those to you guys. So um, yeah, look down in the show notes and check that out. And yeah, I think that's about it for today. Yeah, I'm looking at my coffee in my chair and I'm like, it's calling my name. So I'm gonna go relax for a few minutes and then get back to work. And thank you again for visiting and check below for the information about Ergata and the free PDF. And thank you again for stopping by. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.